Hey everybody, if you've been wondering how to connect two or more X-Touch controllers to your Mac over a network so that you can use it with Mixing Station, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Let's go! Okay, the first thing you need to do is set the control mode for both of your X-Touch devices. So to do that, you're gonna hold the select button on your first channel and turn on the device. This brings you into your selection mode. You want your mode to be set to MC for Mackie Control, the interface set to network, the network mode is set to slave, and then you need to set a port. On my first device, I'm gonna set my port to 5004, and on this second device, I'm gonna set the port to 5006. The other thing you need to do under network mode is scroll over to DHCP. DHCP will assign you an address automatically based on your network. If you don't know what your network is and you don't wanna to have to try to figure out a static address, you're gonna leave DHCP as on. If you do know your network setup and you wanna set static IPs, you're gonna set this to off and then you can set your IP statically. But again, if you don't know what that is, just leave it on DHCP set to on. Once you've done that on both devices, you're gonna select the first button again, and now each device is in the correct mode. Okay, with our devices set up, now we can get into the software side of things. So let's have a look at our Mac here. I've got Mixing Station open already, and we're gonna leave it open while we do the actual setup of the network connections, because I want you to see the connections pop up in real time. The way that Mini Studio does things as far as assigning names to network devices on a Mac is, is a little weird. It gives you a network ID that isn't necessarily memorable. So to avoid confusion when you're trying to select your device in Mixing Station, we're gonna watch the first one pop up in real time and that will help with selecting the first and second device in the proper order. You'll see what I mean when we get there. Anyway, the first thing we need to do here is open Audio MIDI Setup. So with that window open, we're gonna come up to the Window tab up here and we're gonna say Show MIDI Studio, which gives us this window. And then over here, there's a little globe icon, which is Configure Network Driver. So you're gonna click on that. And this is our MIDI network setup. So what we need to do is we need to set up a session for each controller and then define a controller inside each session. So let's just step through it because it'll make a lot of sense as we do it. Our first session, I'm gonna call this session uh, my X-Touch left one to eight because I'm gonna use it on the left side device and I'm gonna have it control channels one to eight. So enter and then underneath this session, we need to add a new device. So I'm gonna call this X-Touch left. And we need to put in the IP address. Now, because we set everything to DHCP, our device should be showing an address. I'm gonna grab my other camera here. And you can see on my left device, we do have an IP and it says wait. That means it's waiting for a connection. And our IP is 192.168.0.20. So that's what I'm gonna put into this device ID, 192.168.0.20. And this is what I'm considering my first device, so we'll use 5004 as the port and click OK. Now we could just go ahead and do the exact same thing for the second device right now, but I'm not gonna do that. Again, I want you to see things show up in real time. So let's actually connect to the mixer. Um, you can connect to whatever mixer you have. I'm gonna use the Soundcraft, but it doesn't matter. The steps are the same for whatever mixer you have. So I'm gonna connect. And the first thing you need to do in Mixing Station is go into the settings cog, and under the app settings, make sure that MIDI support is turned on. Once you've done that, come over to the MIDI tab. This is where we add each device to tell it to control something in Mixing Station. Now we would be doing this step regardless, but I'm opening this up and I'm only gonna half step through it because I want you again to see how it propagates. So we'll click new device and I'm not actually gonna set much up here. What I really want you to see is this input and output. Right now, 
There's nothing here. These two lists will propagate as we connect the first device. And you'll see what I mean about um, a name that's not very memorable. So back here in MIDI Network Setup, I'm going to connect my first session. And then I'm going to connect the left X touch under that session. Sorry, you need to highlight it and click the connect button. And we should see, there you go, it has propagated inside the input and output of our mixing station. And now you can probably understand, like network and a bunch of numbers, that's gonna be hard to remember. You could write it down, of course, but just seeing it happen, you'll understand, um, especially when we get to the next device, why it makes sense to do it this way. If I click on this, we've only got one selection. Same thing over here, only one selection, but you'll notice that the input and output addresses are not the same. If you were doing this on PC, it is actually super, super easy to tell what you're connecting to, but it's not the same here on Mac, a little bit more complicated. Anyway, this is our first device. So we're actually gonna connect to this so that these addresses are tied to this device. What we need to do is name it. I'm gonna call this um, Xtouch128. I'm gonna click OK. We wanna change the protocol to Xtouch MCU. And this is the important list right here, channel offset. This device is gonna be left at zero and that tells it that there's no channel offset. So the first channel it's gonna control is channel one. When we get to the next one, we're gonna change this to eight. With this the way it is, we're gonna click apply and that actually has brought our first device to life. So I'm just gonna go back out of here so you can see the mixer and uh, you can see I'm moving stuff here. I have control of the first eight faders. What I don't have is control of the master fader. So let's do that real quick. The way to do that is go back into the settings cog, back into MIDI, and you're just gonna click over here on your first device. I'm gonna click find controller and then I'm going to move this fader and it will actually jump to what we want here. We know now that it's fader nine. So I'm gonna go add action, change current channel to bus master channel, come down here to main and leave it on fader. Now that I've done that, it has assigned the master fader to the master fader channel, which is great. The next thing we need to do is connect our second device. So we're gonna go through the exact same steps we did for the first one. Let's create a new session. Let's call it Xtouch right 9 to 16. And then we need to create a new device. And we're gonna call this Xtouch right. And this is going to require the IP address of our second device. So if I come over here to my second one, we can see that it's waiting idle and it has an address of 192.168.0.19. So that's what we're gonna add here, 192.168.0.19. And remember, this is our second device and we changed the port when we were setting things up. Instead of 5004, it's gonna be 5006. Click OK. And now we are going to open this back up, go into MIDI. You won't see it propagate the same way um, because it's already showing our previous network IDs. But it's just kind of important to note what we're seeing here already, 231 and 845. When we make a new connection, there's going to be new ones available. So let's connect this one. And with it highlighted, we are going to connect our X touch right. Click connect. And we can see that it's connected here. Now, if we come into mixing station and we click on this, we've got a new ID, 787 and 203. That's what we want to choose. Let's call this, oops, X touch. 9 to 16, click OK, and we are going to set it to Xtouch MCU, and this is the important part again. Channel offset needs to go to 8. That means the first 8 channels are being used up somewhere else, 
So the next logical channels would be 9 to 16, and that's what will be applied to our second device. Let's hit apply. And if I grab my other camera here, you can see that that's now 9 to 16. And if I move, oops, we're not looking at the actual mixer, but now we are. And that is changing all the channels between 9 and 16. Now, same thing. If I move the master fader on our second device, it's not assigned to the master fader. It's not assigned to anything. You can go through the same steps and you can connect that to the master fader uh, the same way we did on the first device. Or you could actually make it a ninth fader. If you wanted to do that, this is the way it works. Let's go into the cog, go back into MIDI, choose our second device here, click on it. Same thing, find controller. Let's touch the fader, which brings us to fader nine. Highlight it. Add action. If you want to make it an extra fader, here's what you need to do. Instead of current channel, we're going to change it to current layer. And then we want to change the offset to eight, the same way we did for setting up the device. So what that means is the first eight channels are being controlled by the other faders on this device. So this becomes the next logical one, which would be fader nine. Then we want to set this to main and leave it on fader. And with that done, our fader should now control channel 17. And it does. That's a pretty handy thing to be able to do. So there you go, a really quick demonstration on how to set up two or even more X-Touch controllers to your Mac over a network so that you can use them with mixing station. I hope this was interesting, educational, entertaining. If it was any of those three things, please do all the normal stuff, which is like, share, subscribe. You can check us out on Patreon, or you can even join this channel down below. If you do any of those things, it really helps the channel grow. So thanks in advance. And until we see you next time, thanks for watching here on Quick and Easy Quickies. Bye, everybody.